Hi, I'm Adam with Finding Self-Reliance, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a clove hitch. Well, I'll show you a couple of different ways to tie a clove hitch. This is going to be the first in a series of knot tying videos, because I think knot tying is a skill that everyone should have. You don't have to master a hundred different knots. Really, five to ten knots, if you know them really well, will get you through nearly every situation you'll ever find yourself in where knot tying would be necessary. So, let's get started with the first way to tie a clove hitch. So a clove hitch is used to tie off to an anchor point, and in this case, this bar on my trailer is going to be the anchor point. So, we have the running end is the end, or the working end, it's also known as, is the end that I'm working with, and the standing end is typically the longer piece of the rope. So I'm going to start by putting the working end over the anchor point, and since I'm right-handed, I like to tie it this way, coming off to my right. So we go around and to the right. Then we're going to cross over to the other side of the standing end, coming around the anchor point, and then up through the middle V here. And that's all there is to it. So one more time, we go around our anchor point, then cross over to the other side, and then we're going to come up through this V-shape here. And as long as this is under tension, it's very secure. When the tension is released, it's not that difficult to untie. So here's a little variation on that. You do it the same way, going around your anchor point and off to the right, crossing over to the other side, and instead of coming up through the V with just the tip, giving myself a little more line, you create a bite, which is just a bend in the line. And you put the bite, instead of putting the end of the line in, you put a bite in between. And what that does is it gives you a rip cord for a quick release. So it's still nice and secure until you're ready to untie it. And just pull the rip cord, and it comes right off. So that's another way to tie it. Now, it's not difficult to untie in this configuration, but if you do it with a bite, it is even easier. So even if it's under a tremendous load, and this gets really tight, when you're done, you just pull the rip cord, and it comes undone. So that's how you tie a clove hitch if you don't have access to the end of your anchor point. If you're tying off to something where you can come over the top of it, there's an even easier and faster way to do it. So I'll show you once kind of fast and then I'll slow it down a little bit and explain it. But if you have access to the end, that's how easy it is to tie a clove hitch. And it's still just as secure because it's the same knot as before. So to do that, you're going to make two loops. I have the running end on this side, standing end on this side, and I just twist away from myself, and that forms an underhand loop with the rope passing under the standing end, and I just do that twice. I have two underhand loops. Put the second one on top of the first one, slide it over the anchor point, and pull, and it's nice and tight. So that's the second way to tie the clove hitch. So that's it, two different ways, well, two and a half, because I showed a variation, two and a half ways to tie a clove hitch. That's going to do it for this video, but I'll be back soon with another knot tying tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.